hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel i'm shamir and today you guys we are talking pearls in the mist okay you see the excitement on my face because you know what after the first few minutes of this i really had an epiphany and i was like girl you are getting caught up you are all into the vc andrews movies okay like or at least this set this series this set of movies okay you know everything about ruby okay like why am i caught up but here we go okay so i'm excited to talk about it and what i will say is if you have not seen pearls in the mist okay you're welcome to stay and watch this video as long as you want but i will warn you that in about i don't know how many minutes <laughs> probably one i will start telling you guys what surprised me and the things that you know went on in the movie so i'm just gonna warn you now okay so with all that being said let me just go ahead and tell you if you haven't seen pearls in the mist and you are thinking about watching it i'm just gonna tell you go ahead and watch it especially if you already watch ruby i feel like this one um you know it really didn't get as deep in a sense like there were some deep moments but it was more enjoyable to me okay so i feel like you can definitely watch pearls in the mist if you've seen Ruby or even if you haven't, um, you know, I feel like you'll be able to kind of catch on to what's going on, but it's worth the watch. Okay. It's worth your time. Um, I liked it and there were lots of twists and turns and I was like, Hey, I think people should watch this. So yes, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. Now here is where I'm just going to go ahead and start talking about what happened and given details okay so there were so many things that were surprising me about the movie and i think you know some of you may be watching it and you may not be as surprised because you know you actually read the books okay but you know me i didn't read the books so everything is like a surprise to me like everything catches me off guard and you know it's very exciting but anyway, let's get into the beginning. So we start off, we see Giselle and Ruby. They're off to Greenwood, which is all girls school. Giselle's still mad about stuff. Um, she's still not walking because of the accident. And um, it's pretty apparent from the beginning of the movie that Mrs. Ironwood is going to be out to get Ruby. Okay, I was like, Mrs. Ironwood, I'm not feeling your vibes. Okay, you're very mean. Especially when she told Ruby, see when Miss Ironwood told Ruby that she couldn't trust her and they call her swamp people and then was like, um, I know you're kind. I was like, oh, not the I know you're kind. Really, Miss Ironwood? Okay, so we knew from the start that, you know, Greenwood was going to be just, you know, a place where Ruby is going to have some drama, Okay. I feel like V.C. Andrews, if she doesn't already have some type of award for like the most plot twist or surprises in one book or movie, she should definitely have one. Because so many different things were happening in this one movie. I was like, oh my goodness, like, are you serious? I really was talking to this TV. And like at one point, I just really was just like, really? Are you serious? For real? shut up i cannot believe it like that was me the whole movie basically because like i said i didn't know any of this stuff that was going to happen and so much different stuff was happening okay so first i really didn't even pay attention to the fact that it was 1962 okay until ruby was having that talk with her roommate and um her roommate abby and abby was like well i'm what some people call um mixed breed and that was like her big secret and you know every and ruby was like i can't believe that people even still care about this it's 1962 and i was like where have i been like no part of me ever <laughs> thought to stop and think of <laughs> what year it was <laughs> so yeah you know that threw me for a second i was like oh okay we in 1962 that's where we're at <laughs> another really big thing that got me about this movie was just the fact that ruby was just cutting up in this movie okay i feel like ruby's personality was just coming out and she was like the i'm gonna tell it like it is and how i feel every single time i feel like it okay 
her attitude in this one was like the second you do something i don't like i'm telling you about it i'm checking you about it and i was like look at ruby okay not to mention how ruby is cutting up with the boys okay i'm like okay at this point the boys love some ruby okay i'm talking ruby is out here um volunteering to be people's first kiss and giving sight to the blind okay i was like now ruby okay that is some powerful stuff ruby god dog Another thing that really surprised me and caught me off guard during the movie was the scene where Ruby went to um the lady's house, the rich lady's house, I can't remember her name, but and um the clocks were like all on the same time and they weren't moving and I was just like the suspense. I was really like, "Oh my god, like why why are the clocks like what's going on with the clocks? I don't know what's going on with the clocks." And then I was thinking to myself, "That's why you should have read the book, god doggy." But, you know, we quickly found out that, um, you know, that was the time of the killings, you know, of the, the murder, actually, you know, the murder happened at that time. And I was just like, that's strange, though. Why would you leave the clocks on the time that the murder happened? I don't know. I, I just, I really didn't see the point of that. But that's what happened. Okay, so that had me on the edge of my seat for a little bit. And apparently it wouldn't be a VC Andrews situation if somebody didn't have some deep dark family secret that was just horrible, okay? The poor boy's mama was molesting him and stuff and I was just like, okay, see now here we go. Here we go back to this sad depressing family secret situation. My goodness, apparently this is definitely something that VC Andrews likes to include in these books, okay? So, um, yeah, we had that issue. But you guys, the real things that really, really got me, okay, were just the surprises and the things that were happening. Let's talk Daphne, okay? Daphne's attitude was like through the roof here. I was like, look at Daphne, how mean and deceitful Daphne, okay? So Ruby's dad just dies of a heart attack. And I was like, God, dog, like for real, this what we doing? So then here comes Daphne and I'm looking like, shh, I wouldn't be surprised if we had found out that Daphne killed the man, okay? I was like, Daphne was not feeling how he was, um, you know, being nice to Ruby and all that. And she was not feeling how the family's name was going to look for certain stuff. So I really, I don't know. I was thinking that Daphne probably got rid of her husband. But, you know, they didn't say that. So that's just what I was assuming, okay? But Daphne decided she wanted to get mad at Ruby and, you know, threaten Ruby and Giselle. Like, okay, I'm changing up the will. I'm changing up when you're getting your trust fund. She got mad at Ruby and was like, you're not even going to the daddy's funeral. And I was like, ooh, she is a piece of work, okay? What really, really got me, I'm talking about shocked the mess out of me. When Giselle's ass got up out of their wheelchair, and I'm I'm sorry, excuse the language, but I was like, really, Giselle, you can walk? Are you serious? You've been rolling around here and you can walk? And the nerve of her to be faking a disability. Like, really? Is that what we doing? You guys, I was so shocked at that. Like, that was one of the most surprising things that happened because I really did not expect for her to be able to walk, okay? I don't know why, but that really got me. Like, I was like, is she serious? Okay. And if the fact that Giselle could walk wasn't enough, here we go. Ruby and got pregnant. I... Ruby, you really didn't got pregnant? I was like, I thought Ruby might have been like, you know, I get it that Ruby was probably being a little naive and stuff, but I really thought that Ruby was going to be a little smart in the situation. Like, hello, Ruby, Bo, one of y'all, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Ruby got pregnant. Ruby done had to run off, you know, because Daphne was trying to make her get rid of the baby. And, you know, Ruby was like, no. Nope. So she done basically gave up her inheritance or got written out of the will because Daphne was mad about the whole situation. And now here we go. Ruby is pregnant and finding herself back at home. And guess who had to pick Ruby up and bring her home? Paul, of all people. I'm like, here we go. Now Ruby done had to call Paul. And just like I started suspecting, Paul cannot let it go. Just cannot let go of the fact that Ruby is his sister and wanting to be with her and marry her. And I'm just like, Paul, I don't have time for you with this today, Paul. Okay, you guys, the fact that V.C. Andrews wrote this and made this a situation to where Paul's still trying to get with Ruby. A hurricane is coming 
and she giving birth during the hurricane was just a lot. I was like, well, my goodness, okay? Look at the twists and the turns that's happening in this movie, okay? Then I just really, <laughs> Paul was really on my nerves because, Paul, there was just a hurricane. Ruby just gave birth in this house during this hurricane, and here you go. Ruby, will you think about marrying me? Well, now, how selfish is Paul, okay? I'm sitting here screaming at the TV, Ruby, if you tell Paul yes, I could jump through this TV. And here she go, I'll think about it. Well, you know what? Just throw the whole thing away. I was like, I cannot believe she just told him she gonna think about it. So now, of course, here we go. That's how it ends. And now what happens? I'm wrapped up. I'm stuck. Because now I have to watch. I have to watch the next one. The next one comes out, I think, when, like, Saturday or something. Now I have to watch the next one. What's it called? Um, Something about glitter, I think. Okay, I'm going to have to look it up. But you guys, like, I, I'm really stuck at this point. Because <laughs> now I have to see what's going to happen with Paul and Ruby. Is Ruby really going to marry Paul? Like, you know, I haven't read these books, but like I'm almost tempted to just get the information ahead of time because I don't know if I can handle it, okay? I don't know if I can handle the suspense and wait until this weekend to figure out if Ruby gonna marry Paul and then they gonna start having all this drama and stuff. Like I'm thinking that's probably what's gonna happen because I mean, hell, she told him she was gonna think about it. But you know, at this point, I'm invested. So, you know, just go ahead, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then click that little bell so that you'll know when I upload another video because I will be talking about it. The next one and then the one after that because at this point, I'm stuck. I need to know what happened. So thanks to that Lifetime. You know what? Honestly, all jokes aside, Lifetime has been coming with the movies, okay? Um, I definitely have multiple reviews at this point on the recent Lifetime movies. So shout out to Lifetime because you guys are doing the dang old thing over there. Okay. And I'm talking quality movies right now. I'm not talking like, you know, low budget, bad acting or anything like that. I'm talking quality movies and things that are keeping me very entertained. So you guys make sure you check out Lifetime. And if you're interested, if you're a real BC Andrews fan, okay, if you're really into it, I saw it. The commercial said that all of the V.C. Andrews movies are available on demand. Now, I don't think that includes the new series, of course. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that. But I know all the other ones that came out that, you know, I didn't know about and hadn't watched before. Those are on demand. So, you know, you might want to check those out too, okay? But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and taking the time out to hear what I had to say about the movie. So... Yeah, I appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.